because my brother's leaving out here at one in the morning to to go to work. He just they under the the bereavement contract that they have with their company, him being our cousin, they won't give him the time off. His his boss has has already told him though. Once you get the phone call, you let me know. I'll make the arrangements. I'll pay for your bereavement time. You just get the hell home and you know take care of what you got to take care of. So when the call comes in, I'm pretty much calling him. I'm driving down, pick him up, and doing a, a 180 and coming right back. Right on, right on. Well, prayers to you. Uh-huh. And well, I was going to mention the charity for you, Ghost, but since I, we got you on the air, we might as well have you do it. Yeah. Well, currently, you know, my family's not a, a very rich family. Um, there's several of us that have been asked to help, you know, and they're help, you know, asking friends um, of my cousins. And anybody really that can donate to donate money um, to help pay for the cost of you know the funeral and everything. And I mean, if anybody can donate, you can either look me up by my phone number seven four zero two eight five eight zero zero two on PayPal, or you can search my email, which is r c a l d w e l l thirteen dot r c at gmail dot com. Um, whatever anybody can send, it'd be you know greatly appreciated and put to good use. Um, we have. My brother, who's going to pay for opening and closing costs um, for his uh, viewing, and then he's being cremated, so we have to obviously take care of that end and and everything else, and as, as well as all the you know other ends and odd and end stuff to it. Um, so we're all kind of trying to work together, pitch in what we can, where we can, how we can, to uh, make sure that the family's taken care of and and not having to worry about not being able to do something you know that needs to be taken care of or needs to be done right. so well you know every everybody needs help at some point in time in their life you know you, you, you can be a rich family you can be a family that that has everything that they need to to be comfortable but at some point in time we all need help you know, yeah, it, 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 even myself, I'm making a, a substantial amount of money from being medically retired. You know, most most of everybody knows that after I pay my bills and what I do for my kids, that I, I, I dump what I can back back into the community to to be able to help others. And you know, it, it, it's we all need help sometimes, and it doesn't necessarily have to be financial. When I say we all need help, somebody, you know, we need to help. We need a shoulder to lean on, somebody to talk to, somebody to vent to, somebody to cry to, somebody to have a great group of freaking host and co-host who I have this badass plaque sitting right here beside me that you want to, I'm going to tell you a funny story. <laughs> it's real short. So I ordered my daughter's Christmas presents, right? And I ordered them from Amazon. I paid no attention to the fucking post office box. I thought it was some of her books. And when we go to open everything up, the stuff in her book bag, I was like, I'd be a motherfucker. <laughs> this son of a bitch been sitting in my chair for two days. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, I do. Uh, I don't know if everybody's got to see it all, but it, it is a symbol of the DGN Network uh, platinum sign. says, presented Brian Big Country from the DGN host and co-host. Thank you for bringing the <coughs> family together and keeping... <laughs> And keeping us together and continue efforts to DGN. Once again, thank you, thank you to all of you who who had a heart, had a hand in that. Ghost, Keith, uh, Lady Liberty, Killa, um, and everybody else who had a hand in that. That 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 means a lot because at one point in time I was ready to just kind of walk away from things. You know, Chris, you probably know being in this from 2002 that. Not only do you get a lot of fans, but you get a lot of jaded haters too. And oh yeah, <laughs> you, you can hear it in his voice. Oh yeah, <laughs> but you know, and and, and I want to put a message out there because not too many people that I know of, Chris, you might have done this before, but I want to put a message out there to the jaded haters. You know what? You need to you need to look at yourself in the mirror and you need to smile and. Instead of trying to go behind somebody's back, regardless of who it is, you need to, just like we've done for, for, for one uh, freedom fighter a while back, some people were attacking him. Well, if you don't like the way things are being done, if you're getting messages from people that are having complaints, 
Take it to them in a private message. Talk about it like adults. Instead of trying to go on, on Facebook, because apparently a lot of the jaded haters out there live in this little bitty square box and think that's the world. There's so much more out there besides this little bitty box. This is something that we voluntarily do on our own time because we love helping people rather than bashing people. You know, the noise is going to go away. It is going to. It always does. There's so much news that goes through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and everything else that, you know, it, it just it just goes away. So, um, I want to... I want to play a song real quick. Uh, like I said, if y'all go on, uh, if y'all go on, uh, oh, uh, type in the wrong one. My bad. Um, if y'all go on my, uh, quit doing that, damn it. <laughs> 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 uh, if y'all go on to uh, my Facebook page and. Uh, you can't spell either, huh? No, I can't spell either. Um, and, uh, and and look at Madison Rising's uh, new video. Uh, even with them just playing around, it, 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 it's badass. But uh, here is Another Messiah by Madison Rising. Bit of uh, 
another Messiah by Madison Rising. Like I said, y'all can go to uh, my Facebook page, uh, Dangerous Grounds Network Facebook page, or my public figure page, and actually check out the uh, check out the song uh, with the new guitarist Dave. Um, of course, AJ took a little break for a little bit, you know, going out there and helping out some other bands and some other great musicians, make some great music for all of us. Um, and, you know, big thanks for them and Kings Hollow and Combat Flip Flops, the Veteran Exchange, uh, Magic Vape Shop <clears throat> for, uh, for being sponsors of the network. Um, we greatly appreciate it. Um, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, happy new year to everybody. I hope everybody, you know, I hope, you know, everybody has a new year resolution. One thing I will say about that. Don't make a resolution that is just almost damn near impossible to do. Make it make it realistic. Make it something that you know that not only do you have to put forth a little bit of hard work to do, but make it something that you can actually do. You know, you got some people, oh, well, I want to be able to lift a thousand pounds by summertime. Bullshit. <laughs> Unless you're a weightlifter already, you've been a weightlifter for like five, six years, I don't think that's going to be possible. Just saying. Popeye spinach don't work that great. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> all right, so we're going we're gonna to start off with Chris uh, uh, with, with some closing thoughts. And, uh, you know, uh, we always... Whenever I'm all, whenever I'm running the show, man, I always do a segment called Final Thoughts. Um, it's something that we could, you know, put out to all of our badass listeners all over the world. Something positive, something something in their mind that after they after they listen to the show, that they got something peaceful and great to to leave with in their thoughts. All right. Well, I like to uh, close out my show all the time with the same quote. It's uh, one that I came up with about a year ago, and that's, uh, you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect solution. And that just simply means that it, don't worry about what it is that's going on in your life. Reach out and help somebody. Because just because you might not have things figured out, you might be able to be that one little key thing that can help somebody else get through their day. And if that's all we can do, if that is all we have is just the ability to help someone get from one minute to the next minute or one day to the next day, that's more than that. I mean, that right there is all that's needed in this world is just someone to be somebody else's perfect solution. Amen to that. Amen to that. Amen. Ghost, what you got, Bob? As always, man, um, you know, like you were talking about earlier, live life to the fullest. Now, I'm not talking about going out and doing stupid shit or, you know, worrying about, you know, fucking materialistic things. Live life to the fullest. Be with your family, your friends, the people that you love and care about, you know, fellow brothers and sisters, you know, freedom fighters, whatever. Just go out, be fucking happy. You know, live your life because you do not know. You have no fucking clue how long you have on this earth. Make every moment count. That's right. Amen to that. Yes, sir. Keith? All right. Well, you know, this whole New Year's resolution thing, I started my New Year's resolution a couple months early uh, in October, and I'm not going to go too far into detail, but things that you think are impossible can definitely be done. Um, you've got to do is keep your head up and make sure you got a strong, you know, a strong background and a strong um, support group around you. Um, I can say thank you to you, uh, to Country Ghost, Everybody on the show have helped me through a bunch of shit as well. So, um, you know, and besides that, like I always do, if you can't be good, be good at it. If you're that good at it, name it after me. <laughs> and, you know, as always, be positive. Do something great for somebody. Love you, tattoo artists. Look at, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are worth it. Your life means everything to somebody. Even though you may think it doesn't, it does. Regardless if it's kids, family members, friends. You know, people that you may think don't like you, but actually still hold love in their heart for you. Yeah, and be badass. You know, if you don't be what everybody else wants you to be, be who you want to be. You know, we can give you all the advice, all the tools, all the resources in the whole world to be able to help yourself. But when it comes down to it, 
the bottom line is only you can help you.